Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you the wrong way of doing it first, and then later on I will show you the, the, uh, the right way. Some of you might reason like this. Well, as, as n tends to infinity, some of you might reason like this. As, a, as n tends to infinity, this one here is going to be negligible. So we can imagine this as being the square root of n. And then you take away the square root of n. And then, uh, and then, and then you, you times by square root of n. So you, some of you might reason that, well, this could be, this would be zero. And then this would be, uh, root of n. So you've got one thing multiplying. You've got th this thing here, square root of n will look something like this. Um, as n gets bigger and bigger, this thing here is going to head towards infinity. This thing here is going to head towards zero. You can't just simply, uh, you can't just simply say, oh, this, li you've got something times zero equals, uh, zero. You, you, you can't really say that because infinity times zero, anything could happen because because, um, hang on, let, let, let me give you an example first. Uh, let's say if I were to give you something like this to the power 3 plus 7 over, let's say, 2x squared minus 3. So, so uh, take the limit as n, as, as x tends to, um, as x tends to infinity. Here you can reason, hang on, as x tends to infinity. Here you can reason that, um, that, well, as, as x gets bigger and bigger, this 7 here is negligible, so we can imagine this whole thing here as being uh, 3x to the power 3 over. Well, as, as x gets bigger and bigger, this thing here, we, this thing here is going to be negligible. The, the point I'm trying to make here is that, uh, in this case here, in, in this case here, it's okay to, to make this, to make this comparison because you've got one thing, so you, you see that if you look at the graph here, you've got this thing here, which is, which is going heading towards infinity. You've got this thing here heading towards infinity. So you can use that, you can use the reasoning on this. But here, here, if you look at this, you've got this thing versus this thing here. You've got, well, if you look at this, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's heading towards zero. This thing here is heading towards infinity. So, um, so when, when you, when you have one thing, when you have one thing multiplying another thing, anything could happen in this case here because because if if this thing here is climbing, if this thing here is heading towards zero at a faster rate than this, then you're going to get you're going to head towards zero. But then if this climbs at at a certain rate where where it's more superior than this, falling to zero, the the point here is that this this thing here, anything could happen when you have zero when you have infinity times zero. But in this case here, they're both going towards inf um, infinity here. So it's, it's clear cut in, in this case here. You can, you can reason that this thing here divided by this thing, you can simplify it to this. Because, um, because as x gets bigger and bigger, this will always be true. Um, I, I hope you can follow this. Well, anyway, to, uh, to do this, to do this, um, to do this, imagine, imagine this thing as, visualize this thing as, as a fraction. Visualize this thing as that thing over 1. So visualize this thing here as the exact same thing over 1. Now times top and bottom by the conjugate of, of this. Okay, so, so, so times top and bottom by the conjugate of this. So notice the conjugate. This is negative. This is a positive. And then, um, and then now, uh, now you've got this thing multiplying so you've got one bubble here times another bubble here, and then well basically get this times with this. That will then give you that will then give you this. Because the beauty of times and top and bottom the beauty of times and by the conjugate is that these two will, will really tidy itself up. It's really tidy. When you times when you multiply by the by the conjugate, the, the middle two terms will just clear will, will just cancel each other out. Well when you get this times this, it will give you this nice and clean. So you've got your square root here, square root here, and then you've got one times this thing here. So that will be this thing here. So now, uh, now, uh, now tidy this up. So you've got n minus n, uh, and then you've got one here. So this thing here becomes one. One times square root of n is just square root of n. So here this stays the same, stays the same. So the idea here, the idea here is that we're, so, so this is where we're at. The idea here is to trap this thing in between two things. 
and then and then use the squeeze theorem to find the limit of this. So we are going to try and trap this in between two things. Okay, so bear with me. So if uh, if you look at this here, uh, let's 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 just look at this. Hang on, square root of n. So uh, so you've got um, hang on, let me think. So you've got uh, you've got this thing here. Bear with me. So what the idea here is to trap in between two things, uh, and then you've got plus, you've got plus. And then here's the thing. Let's let's um, let's let's look at this bubble. Compare it to this bubble here. Let's make the uh, let's make this denominator here bigger than sorry. Let's make this bubble here bigger than this bubble here. If we can make this bubble here, if we can make this bubble here bigger than this one here, then uh, then the overall fraction will be then this overall fraction here will be bigger than this fraction here because by you making this. Uh, by you making this bubble, uh, by you making this bubble bigger than this bubble, that means the denominator will be the whole denominator here will be bigger. Well, if the whole denominator is bigger, then the overall thing here will be smaller than this. So the so the aim here is to to make this bubble here to be less than sorry. The aim here is to make this bubble here to be bigger than this bubble here. So let's let's have n plus one. You see, by you so this is just n. By you adding one here, then 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 the bubble here will be bigger. So when you square root it, it will be it will be bigger as well. When you add this bigger thing to this, well, by you adding by you hang on, by you adding uh, bear with me, n plus one, and then you've got plus square root. Um, so by you making this thing here bigger, n plus one. Now this here, this bubble here is bigger now. So so now we can say that this thing would be. Bigger than this thing. Um, I will continue in the next video.